Good evening, everybody. My name is Nuria Saldanha. I'm from Brazil, and I'm the founder of Vozes Brasileiras, which means Brazilian Voices, a platform that develops collaborative content focused on low-income uh, low areas in Brazil. We are trying to solve an old problem in Brazil where media doesn't give enough attention to low-income areas. Because of that, People from favelas don't have the space they deserve in traditional media, and although the seats and journalism initiatives exist, they are small and sparse. Talking a little bit about the number, 6% of Brazilian population live nowadays in favela, more, more than 12 million people, and this is a market of $22 billion. Many people can think that uh, Favela's residents are miserable, but it's not true, especially when you talk about technology. More than a half are connected to the internet nowadays, and when you talk about young people, 78% uh, have access to the internet. And because it's such a potential market, the business eyeballs are, are turned into favelas. We have a lot of uh, Brazilian major companies inside favelas nowadays. And he, recently, Facebook uh, launched a tech lab in the favela of Heliopolis in Sao Paulo, offering free internet for the whole community there. What, uh, how are you going to serve this community? We are going to have a platform with uh, multiple sources of content. Uh, we are going to produce, uh, we are, are already producing original reporting, citizen reporting, and aggregating and creating content produced by citizen journalists, uh, journalists who live in favelas. And we are also producing, uh, launching media trainings in order to have better content and better videos and pictures to tell the, the, these stories. Here is uh, our website. We, re we recently launched this website. Uh, we are populating some stories, and we have an input form where people can send the stories to be published in the home page. With Vozes Brasileiras, the users are going to have a greater voice, and advertisers and sponsors can reach new clients with the potential data that we are offering them. Our distribution uh, will take place mainly in social media, but also we are trying to build some partnerships with NGOs and community associations in order to spread this content. And our revenue streams, we are going to work with our advertisement, crowdfunding campaigns about the special coverage, such as uh, we can create like a, a drug coverage or education coverage in low income areas. So we are going to launch campaigns uh, for crowdfunding. Also, sponsored events when uh, companies can, um, brands can come to us and uh, we can like um, uh, create uh, forums and concerts with uh, local artists. And also classified jobs listing where companies can add um, a job opening position. We are now looking for partnerships, funding opportunities, and we are going to launch uh, the whole platform. Now we have only the website, but the whole platform till the end of this year. I have been a reporter for more than 10 years in Brazil and also a uh, news anchor. Uh, I have experience as online editor and I've been a uh, volunteering in a lot of social programs. Thank you. Do we have a question for Nuria? Yeah. By the way, there are a couple of seats up here if people want to come and fill in. Maybe put your hand up if there's a seat next to you that's free, please. Yes. Hi, this sounds like a, a great effort. And if maybe you could explain to some of us a little bit more what a favela is, as far as you know, what kind of people live there and where they are, and then what do they typically read now? You know, and why would this be different? Um, favela is the same of Islam, is the translation of uh, Islam, is a place, a poor place uh, with uh, 
uh, very crowded place and with uh, buildings uh, that are in bad conditions. Uh, nowadays, people uh, read, this is a research about Rio de Janeiro where the favelas are concentrated. Nowadays in Brazil, we have more than a thousand favelas in Rio de Janeiro and more than 2.3 thousand favelas in Brazil. So they read mostly blogs, uh, community newspaper, and uh, they, they also listen to community radios, uh, like pirate radios. So we have some uh, leaders in communities that uh, uh, launch this kind of radio, so they, they read and they consume very local, local news.